subscribe to my channel and watch hundreds of DIY videos.
I start with a small piece of wood and on that wood I have started to make some holes and openings for for placing the micro switch, placing the two pin charging port. I need to mention that this rechargeable battery, lithium rechargeable battery, 3.7 volts, it's so small and it's pulled out from this guy. It's a wireless earbuds. These are broken and that's why I use the, the battery for another project. And right now you are seeing how I connected the circuit. It's simple. From battery the positive and negative wires goes to the switch and on LED I have solder a resistor 200 ohms of a resistor just to limit the, the current and that's it it's simple design as I said I use just the micro switch the lithium battery the two pin connector for charging and all that connected and place it in this small piece of wood. The mini rechargeable flashlight made of wood, it's finished and I made some marks like this one, my signature. This is for the switch on off positive and negative terminals for charging the battery and if I want to charge a battery just I need to plug in this cable and here I can char and here I can attach the power supply or I, I can use it as external source Look, it gives a voltage. This small, this small guy, it's like a mini portable power supply. Okay, I have told you that the, that this port is for charging and giving the the voltage. Let's test it. Wow. It's very bright for this kind of mini flashlight. Let's kill the light. It's nice.
is homemade weather station that will cost you about $10. All the parts are bought from eBay. And let's start. I forgot to mention that the weather station is made from three parts. The first one is this. As you know, this is Arduino board, it's Arduino Uno with Atmega chip, Atmega 328. It has USB interface. You will need this kind of cable. And we go, you're gonna connect with the computer and upload the code. By the way, the code for this weather station will be in description below. Visit the website and download it. The second part is this one. It's a shield, it's a LCD display shield. 16 characters by in two rows, 16 by two, LCD keypad shield. Yeah, yeah, it have one, two, three, four, five, six, six push switches. Select left, right, up, down, and restart. It have the right pins, so you attach it right like this. I'm gonna power up. This is my portable power supply. It has 12 volts lithium battery inside. And here is the voltage. And this is the amps that device plug it here will show the amperes. Let's connect to the USB. As you can see, 60 milliampers. Oh, error check connections. It doesn't work. The Arduino Uno board is programmed. Of course it doesn't work. It doesn't work because you need to use the third part. The third component is this sensor. It's BMI280 temperature, humidity and pressure sensor. Around two dollars from eBay. I forgot to tell you that this cost around three to four dollars. The Arduino Uno board is also four dollars and this is two dollars. It's a tiny sensor. It, it needs to be connected to SCL and SDA pins. Okay, attach the shield. Here goes the positive, here goes the negative. And let's try again. Reading sensor. It's working. Look how Simple is to build three parts Arduino Uno board, LCD display shield, and the sensor. The temperature is 33 degrees, humidity 50%, 49, and the pressure is 960 hectopascals. And it looks amazing. I'm making mini speaker box yes and for making you will need the first thing is this guy it's a tiny board with a chip that is a stereo amplifier board I think that is 3 watts okay next thing is lithium battery 3.7 volts 
this is the small switch small speaker and this kind of cable 3.5 millimeter jack with the cable let's start 